for joining me for another segment of Wednesday's Word. Today, I'd like to look at something that's written in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3. When you come to the beginning of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, you have a list of characteristics for those who want to be what we would think of as pastors or elders. But as we look at this list, it's, I think it's very easy just to size that list down to people who are elders or pastors. But the reality is, in Paul's day when this was written, they were choosing their elders and their pastors right out of their own congregations. So in a sense, this list here is not just for those who become pastors and elders, but it's for those who also are setting the congregation. And there are a number of things in this list, but there's one in particular that I want us to look at and think about today. And as Paul is finishing out this list for pastors or overseers, or again, what we might think of as elders, this is how he finishes it out. He says in chapter 3 of 1 Timothy, verse 7, He must also have a good reputation with outsiders, so that he will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's trap. Paul here makes the note that it's not just important how we're viewed inside the church, but Paul says it's important how those of us inside the church are viewed by those outside of the church. And if I could expand that a little bit, in a real sense, it's not just how the church views itself, but it's how those outside the church view it. That's also important. Paul says here that we are to have what he calls a good reputation. That word literally means a beautiful witness. I want you to think for a few moments. When you think about the church and you think about those in it, and we include ourselves, do you think the outside world sees us as having a beautiful witness? Sometimes I think the answer to that is, is probably yes. But unfortunately, I think more often than not, the answer is probably no. Now, Paul's point here is not that we should work so that the world will be where we're at doctrinally, because the truth is that will probably never happen. This is not about the world agreeing with us doctrinally. What it is, is about you and I and the church as a whole living in such a way that our character and integrity really do back up the message that we say we believe. That, Paul says, makes a beautiful witness. And the way that we speak to our culture about what we believe, the tone, the attitude that we come at it with, and that we come at them with, also plays into this issue here of having what Paul calls a beautiful witness. When you think about all of that, you think we have a beautiful witness with the world? Again, sometimes I think the answer is yes, but probably more often than not, I would have to say no. I think the world often looks at our witness and doesn't see it either as filled with character or integrity, nor brought about in, in a way that is often kind or nice. I think very often it sounds mean-spirited and hard. Again, this, this is not a call to lower our doctrinal stances on things, but it is a reminder to us to think about how we present them and how we live out the message that we say uh, we believe. So as we live our lives in, in this world, a world that is increasingly becoming what many think of as post-Christian in its culture, and, and at a time when the statistics tell us that um, Christianity in general is, is losing members and it's, it's sliding in the sense of how the world outside views it, I think what Paul says here is something we ought to give thought to. He says we must have a good reputation. We want to have a beautiful witness. Paul, in, in another uh, book, I think it's the book of Titus, says that we are to adorn the gospel. The ideals were to wear it well. We're to handle it in a way that it really reflects well on the gospel, it reflects well on Christ, reflects well on his kingdom. And so today, what I want us to do is simply think is, is that our lives, not just if you're a pastor or an elder, but if you're a Christian, is 
your life one that's a good reputation with the outsiders, a beautiful witness. And as a church, we need to constantly be thinking this. Do we have a good reputation with those outside the church? You know, the reality is it really does matter about what the world thinks about us. It doesn't matter so much if the world agrees with us, but how do they perceive us and think about us? That's important. And we want to have a good reputation with the outside world. So let me challenge you to pray about this, think about it, and maybe see what God would have you do to sharpen your witness so that you have a good reputation with those outside the church. I want to thank you for joining me for another Wednesday's Word. Hope that you have a great Wednesday. Hope you have a great rest of the week. And I look forward to being with you again on Sunday. Take care.